What is the crack lads? Welcome back to your weekly roundup video of eFootball 2023's Dream Team. So we've got a bit of news to cover finally today uh, and it's looking a bit positive for the future update which is now confirmed to be coming on October 5th. So the first thing we will cover is the legendary epic Barcelona players Cruyff, Piol and Deco. I mean, Cruyff looks insane. We will have a player review on him. We will be doing a couple of spins for him as well. So hopefully we can get him. We already have Piao Deco. Probably won't change the dial too much, but he does have a lot of levels to go up. But we've got a nice little trailer here. They've got some unbelievable player skills, and obviously they are going to be beasts. I mean, Cruyff is especially going to be one of the best players, I think, in the game. Based with his stats and based on his player skills and his player ID and his movement and his motion and all that sort of stuff. So it is going to be interesting to see that. On top of that, we also do have a bit of news, which we will get to in a second. But we do have new events as well. And apologies, lads. I still am a bit under the weather. I can't shake this sinuses head cold or whatever it is. But we will do our best Liga MX and the National Team Challenge event. So the Liga MX is 20,000 GP for the ultimate prize in that one. And then the reward for this one is 20,000 GP as well. And they are both user matches. So you pick a national team or you pick a Mexican team. You play through the event. And then basically you get your reward. So as it says there, you will just be basically playing with one of these teams. And all you have to do is score goals. So you score three goals in the third challenge and you will get the maximum reward there. So moving on to that then, we also do have a new event in the Dream Team itself. So that is with the authentic match and the authentic teams, the real teams in game. And this is with your actual Dream Team then in itself. So you have got your Dream Team one here, which the events are as follows. There is two new ones as far as I'm aware. You've got the Spanish League against the AI, which you can sim or else you can play for. And of course, you can get your free spin there. And then you also have your worldwide clubs, which is against users online. And the ultimate goal for that is 50 eFootball coins there. So the rest of them are normal as usual. And you've got your Starter Cup and your Liga MX Cup as well. So yeah, so that is kind of it, lads. We also have our player of the week, our featured players of the week. Obviously, Divisions is still undergoing as well. We have our players of the week as well. And there are some nice player of the weeks in there as well. They've kind of slightly modified the layout of the cards and stuff so you will see here in a second that they do have um with the special cards here now the players of the week uh we do have now on the on the screen here you can see a little super sub for uh for sun so they're kind of showing their main player skill or their most valuable player skill so there's 11 players we'll do a player review on that as well and we train up the players to see what they actually max out at on eve on efootballdb.com but sun carvajal i would say Xhaka and balde delafeo or delafeo and Grealish, Merit. There, this is a very good. I think this is a very good weekly pack. I mean, Carvajal and Son and Grealish look like absolute beasts. Obviously, they're on all C form. Most of the live update this week because of the international break with the Nations League, uh, is not going to be active. But yeah, I mean, look at Grealish's stats there. He'd be somebody interesting to try out. And then obviously, Son is probably the pick from ninety five overall, one of the best rated versions of Son yet. So eighty nine finishing, eighty nine speed. None of these cars can be leveled up. Obviously. Obviously, but yeah, really, really nice card to get, especially if you are trying to change your playstyle proficiency and you want just cards that do it. And again, as we said, we have our three, uh, Cruyff, Piol and Deco, and they're in with a Barcelona and Spanish agent as well. The rest of them are going to probably ro rotate in six days. Again, you can see there's going to be a big update um, in six days time. There's going to be all these new. So that'll be very interesting. It'll be interesting to see who's on the nominating contract one. And, and that's pretty much it, lads, apart from a bit of news that we have, uh, which we got in the form of Team Match Lobby. So lobbies are actually coming to uh, consoles. So you'll see here, Friend Match Mode will be introduced in V1 in V2.1 update, which is scheduled for early October. In this mode, you'll be able to play online matches with friends. Simply create a match room to tell your friend the match room number to have them join the room. The invite function will be added to a future update if you directly invite a friend to your match room. Thank you take your well-developed dream to the text test and battle for bragging rights against your friends so it seems to be like it's going to be like kind of like um like kind of like the nintendo friend code system for this 
Um, and similar to the way that we had it before, where it's like you open up a, lo a match lobby, you create a room, uh, and then you probably be able to put a password on it or whatever you want. And then you actually tell your friend, okay, this is the room you're looking for. And they actually search for the room. They search and they enter the password and then they're in. And then they're, they say that in the future, they will be adding a new invite function that will probably be drop in, drop out. Now, they don't say anything whether it's going to be one, 2v2, whether it's going to be 1v1, whether it's going to be 3v3. I predicted it's probably, and probably it's just going to be 1v1. They don't mention co-op about it. They don't mention that you can, you know, add up to a couple of friends or anything like that. I think the match room is going to be pretty similar to how you would set up your match room in PES 2021 uh, when you're playing a one-off match. You know what I mean? So you set your rules, you set all your settings, and then you have your... your um, your match room and then somebody is able to look for that match room with the with the with the filters and then obviously add and join because uh that's probably the way that they're going to do it there and then they also just talk about live data update uh player issues that they have uh for players in the Thai league certain players in the Thai league so yeah i mean the big one is definitely the friend match lads definitely like that's huge for console i think that that kind of changes the dial a little bit in terms of what way you would be able to play football now i think it has gotten a little bit a little bit stale in the last you know it's been a year where we've just been playing dream team and while i've been enjoying dream team even with all the gameplay issues like from an actual game uh mode uh kind of like way of being able to test players buy players train players like all that while i've been enjoying a lot of aspects of it i do think having co-op and i think having friend match and lobbies and different things that you're able to do just adds a bit of longevity to the game so i'm really excited to see how the friend match is going to actually you know be incorporated into it and hopefully it's, it's extended upon that in november where you'll be able to directly invite a, a friend in like through the you know ps menu or whatever like you are able to do and join the lobby from your playstation menu without even having the game on you can actually join a friend's lobby in like the likes of cod or nba 2k and you know it's as simple as literally you just press start invite friend boom and then when they join you there's no messing around but Look, it's I think it's still a it's still a brilliant thing to add and we will be doing competitions, we will be doing tournaments, we will be doing a lot of like um stuff with this friend match lobby. So it is going to be really interesting. It is going to be really exciting to have something that you can play with. You know, you could do a three star match, you could do a four star match, you could do a five star match, you can play against your mates and you can have all these rules and uh you know stick to your own rules with budget squads and stuff like that. So yeah, it'll be a bit of a change from just playing, you know, divisions which um can become quite sweaty and with the way the game plays at the moment, it is it is, you know, unless you're going to be 100% focused and concentrated, you will probably be in a dogfight in every game. So all right, let's that is it for me. I'll be back quite soon with another video. We've got a load of stuff to get out today, a lot of player reviews and a lot of other videos I've been working on. So hope you guys are enjoying the channel. Don't forget to subscribe. Peace.